Hey everyone, hope all is well. This is shocking. So, he has been caught driving, he kidnapped a 12 year old, underage girl. The M word, Chester. And he's not kept in jail, but he's told to not to stay away from the victim and don't go near children as if that's gonna really stop him that blows my mind he's been caught the girl escaped wow some you can see how they really value the children i mean the judge you think that's gonna now you don't do this anymore and you stay away from the victim and you there's no contact with children bye go out and be free of society this is backwards. Assaulting a 12 year old girl. The alleged victim telling police she was able to escape after the car she was in crashed. Local time crime specialist Bridget Matter is live in Hollywood with the disturbing details. Bridget. What a terrifying ride this was for this young girl. She was snatched from a CVS pharmacy parking lot. She was then forced into a car where she was with that suspect driving around Broward County when officers say he was molesting her. And while that was happening, that car ended up crashing here in Hollywood. She was able to bail out of that car, escape, run into this gas station and call for help. Hollywood police arrested 44-year-old Shane Taylor after he was accused of kidnapping a girl and sexually assaulting her through Broward County. Now, and here's my thing, too. Um, did they check for his family and all that information? Because normally, you know, when there's certain people, man, they come out with everything. Oh, in 2016, he did this, and we checked as a rap sheet. Why you didn't check it on uh, Shane? On this thing on the screen this makes it just makes no sense to me and more than like he is somewhere in somebody's community listen he may even have a family he may honestly have a family in someone's community maybe going to work on someone's job may work from home in someone's neighborhood but but hey it, it might be okay because the judge told him there's no contact with the victim and no contact with children it makes no sense well this makes no it sense started to me at this cvs off state road seven the police report says the victim who's under the age of 13 was outside when taylor quote grabbed her by her arm and forced her into the front passenger seat of his vehicle so hold on look what he's done kidnapped a child molesting a child look stop and think what do you think would have happened if the vehicle hadn't have crashed if that vehicle had not have crashed that child it, it could be worse the child may be unalived what if the vehicle had not have crashed and she was not able to escape the next kid might not be so lucky if he does this again arrested he appeared before a judge sir when you do bond down i'm ordering no victim contact no contact with minors no return to the location i don't bond and the order says no contact with the victim or no contact with minors yeah that should really do it i'm sure the community feels safer He's in someone's neighborhood. Sleeping somewhere, no doubt. Out on bond. He, he, should, he shouldn't even have been given bond. And how do we know this is the first time this has happened? People keep an eye on your children. I don't care. Oh, he or she's 12 or 13. It doesn't mean a thing. You see, he snatched her outside of CVS got to buy arm keep an eye on your children and they need to learn a stranger come near you start backing up and just start screaming hell well i don't want to be embarrassed forget all that embarrassment it could save your life just start screaming fighting and biting C cause a scene any adult touching you that's when you start screaming i don't care if it's a false alarm
a lot of sickos in society. He's out on bond. Again, what if he hadn't crashed the vehicle? And this here, driving to the FBI, you know, I, that, that's BS. What I call that is trying to, just in case he gets caught, uh, that may be an insanity defense. Oh, he just kind of lost it because what he said he was trying to help her. He even drove her to the FBI. Well, she doesn't need your help, kidnapper. Who needs your help? You don't want to kidnap a child. I see that as an insanity defense, you know. Why would he do that? Because he honestly thought, Judge, and he'll come up with some old expert witness that he was helping her. Well, first of all, keep your hands to yourself, sicko, and stop kidnapping kids. They don't need your help. He is out in society. He'll probably be out and about today, y'all. At a restaurant. Heaven forbid he goes to the men's room and there's a young... We don't know what this fool is capable of. We don't know. The alleg- He's already snatched a girl. Unbelievable. Out on bail. No contact with the victim and no contact with kids. Ooh, that's really gonna do it. Oh yeah, really stick it to him. It seems to me like everything is just going so backwards right now that the dust is, the the deadly and dusty, they are protected. The deadly and dusty are protected. Women and children, good luck. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this. Absolutely ridiculous. He should be locked up. No, we're going to order you no contact with the victim or children. Ooh, yeah, we feel really safe, Duffy Moon. That is ridiculous. Then you wonder why crime keeps happening. It's a revolving door. Revolving door. Oh, attempted murder on this guy. I've, it's, it's been on the news. Oh, the person here. We have a case here, ladies and gentlemen. Attempted murder. It's in Houston. Attempted murder. Yeah. Well, going to go ahead and let him out. Oh, he back in again. What happened? Well, the first time was attempted murder, but this time he succeeded. So now we have an actual murder. That's right, folks. Wow. This is crazy. The unraveling of society. The most vulnerable are not protected. This is ridiculous. Wherever he is, they should go ahead and start putting posters out. Look out for this guy in the neighborhood. Put posters out. Look out for him, y'all. Put posters out all in the community, wherever he is. But I doubt that'll happen. You know, you'll have a, uh, you might have uh, Becky Mammy going, well, we don't want to ruin his family, man. Forget that BS. Lock his monkey butt up. I'm sick of this crap. He's looking like one with those eyes. You ought to be on planet of the APES. This is real. This is crazy. He's sick. Who else does this? That's my opinion. Some are going to say, well, that man needs some help. Yep. And that help can be found in a straight jacket and in jail. That's what the help you need. He needs. That's the help that he needs. Society needs help. The kids need help. Being protected. You honestly trust this man in a restaurant? What if he goes into the bathroom and there's a teen boy? We just don't know. An underage kid. Could be a, 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 a seven-year-old boy or something. You trust this? Go into a rest stop or your kids get out going to the bathroom. Out of, he should be locked up. But hey, he's out on bail. And don't forget, you better not come in contact with kids like that's really going to do it. For him to have the audacity to snatch a child in the daytime like that, brutal ruthless in front of cvs again what if the vehicle hadn't crashed that child we don't know if she would have made it out alive anyway let me know what you all think and these judges are wow they're really making the community safe and we're paying them we're paying our tax dollars for them to go ahead and let these criminals these degenerates out based on their behavior into society it's like we're paying for our own torture I, it's just crazy anyway thanks for watching feel free to comment like subscribe and sharing them out please ladies and gentlemen 
Keep the children safe. Keep an eye on them. Keep the children safe. The predators are out there, baby doll. They are everywhere. Again, please, everybody, keep your hand on the swivel and watch out for the children. Look forward to your comments.